Well, hello there, my lovely listeners. It is your awesome host there. It is Team Rara here. Listeners, how are you doing on this Saturday's edition? I'm doing pretty freaking good. It has been raining on and off today. Very crappy day. Hopefully we're done with the rain. Probably that's not going to happen today. But anywho, let me kick this off with my introduction. Then we'll get the show on the road. I will discuss with you, my listeners, wrestling news, wrestling topics, and a lot of interesting topics I love to discuss with you. So sit back, relax, put your feet out, grab something to eat, grab something to drink. Now, if you don't do nothing like that, Maybe you just want to chill like a villain and hear my thoughts and opinions on this certain matter. And don't worry, my listeners, there will be an article down below. That's for sure. Let's roll it. Now, ever since um, James Elworth returned to the company, he is a pain in the butt. He was a pain in the butt the first time around. Now... Does that mean we're done with James Elworth finally? Now, you may know or may not know, he works for the certain days. He's not on a full-time contract with the because he's still working in in the independent scene, you know? So, we'll see what happens, you know? I never care for him. When do we bring him in in the first place? I still don't care for him right now. Why did they bring him in? It is ridiculous. I know he's teamed up with Camilla. You know, all that other stuff. Now, does she need him? Absolutely not. He is a... Like a class clown. In the wrestling business. You know, for the way, But they pay him. So he accepts to come back. I guess how that worked. I don't know. Okay. Let me discuss this really quickly. I'm not read the whole article. You guys can read all of it. James Elworth appeared at Extreme Rules. Might have been his final appearance in the W. Hopefully that is the case. Probably it's not going to happen. For, for the future on SmackDown Live this week, Carmella was asked about... Ellsworth and she react if she was done with him and she point out that she's not her boyfriend something like that of course they're not, they're not boyfriend girlfriend they just work together you know anywho um, in the latest wrestling observer newsletter it was reported that he is not under contract and he has worked been working on a per date basic I don't know if I said it right probably wrong he has only been working on TV and not at and none of the house shows for the recent run okay you guys can read the article now everyone know or probably don't know that he works once in blue moon w- with um, Grim Toy Show, you know that's an independent wrestling company. He does that and his he has his own um, toy show. So I don't know how much he pays Ellsworth to make an appearance on GTS probably. I don't know how much money. It's not my freaking business, so they don't even mention it. But it's independence, and GTS is independence. So that's somewhere in um, New Jersey area. New Jersey, New Jersey. So Grim, if you're listening, there's a quick shout out and keep up the great work. But anywho, um, so I I don't really don't give a crap about James Elworth if he's done with WWE or not. He's like a, um, what's his name? The guy with a um, sock pocket, 
pocket sack. Is that Mick Foley? Is that yes? Yeah, that sack always the Cobra? I forget who it is, but that was a joke. Why do we always want to bring this jokers in the W? You know, I know it's PG, but still they need to eliminate that crap. You know, I know they want to bring in the young audience, but still the viewers like my age and beyond they don't want to see that kind of crap. You know. I don't know what to say, so I'm assuming they pay them a lot of money for certain dates, you know. Hopefully they're done with them, and probably that's not going to happen. Probably they're going to bring them back, you know. You know, it was kind of cool to see them at Money Bank, you know, the whole angle between Asuka and Kamala, and he was the, um, the copycat of Asuka. It was very unique, and the reports are true that he was, he was going to appear at Money Bank, and that is legit, you know? i like to see that he turned on Kamala. That would be very nice, you know? Because last time we saw him, before he came back, he got bucket with all the women of the SmackDown roster, and then he left. And he went into the sunset. Well, his contract expired. Now he's on day-to-day um, -day -day basics, you know, whenever they need him. On television, they don't. He don't. They don't use them on a lot of events. On the why, but they just don't. Only on TV. Only for right now. So, do you guys care if he does done with W, or do you think W is gonna find a way to sign him with a um, you know a longer contract? I know he's not under contract, but you guys understand. So, like, subscribe, leave a comment about the article. Hit the subscribe. Hit the notification, leave a comment about the article only, and that wraps it up. This is the host error. It's Team Alright. Later, everyone.